we've got things right now our country needs to deal with. We're dealing with a potential third world war yeah. right now. We're dealing with potential cyber war that could close everything down. Uh, I'm sure you have something to say about the statues that are being torn down. Oh, yeah, sure. Um, uh, they want George Washington. They took the sign from George Washington, the church he attended in Washington. They took the sign out of the church because they didn't want to hurt anybody anymore by having a, a sign that says, George Washington sat here, you know. Right. And uh, Because George Washington was a slave owner. Correct. Yes. Right. Yeah. Right. They <laughs> want to destroy our history, and they want to destroy our culture, and they want to reject the Judeo-Christian foundations of Why? Our civilization. You know, because they... They hate America, and they want to replace it with something that they consider a more just society. Well, why don't they just and, go move somewhere else and then? The, why don't they just get away from America? And the hypocrisy of it, the hypocrisy <laughs> oh, of it, that one of the things crazy. that sickens me the most about it is the, uh, that the same people who uh, are intolerant, you know, of yes. people who are proud of the Southern heritage, who want to have statues to Robert E. Lee, uh, who are proud of the American heritage and understand that Thomas Jefferson deserves to be honored and respected yes. and Columbus deserves to be honored and respected for all right. his faults but it represents uh, you know that these pe same people sing the praises of diversity mm -hmm. of diversity yeah. but they but they don't want to respect the diversity of Americans on our side who love America of, yeah. of southern people of people who are constitutionalists mm -hmm. of people people who believe in the judeo-christian tradition right. well, surely a diverse society which is broad-minded enough to have high schools named for Che Guevara and statues to uh, Quetzalcoatl can tolerate a statue of, uh, of, of, uh, of Robert E. Lee and, jo mm -hmm. and Thomas Jefferson. But no, you know, uh, this is what the left wants, us, wants to have it both ways and have that kind of a diversity yeah. which, is, uh, which rejects the foundations of Judeo-Christian civilization and the, its products, the kinds of people that have been produced, the kinds of character that have, have, have grown from it. And, uh, and, uh, and replace it with uh, what I see as a new slavery, you know, a, uh, uh, mm -hmm. you know where uh, they want to flip the ethos of the American experiment mm -hmm. where the individual is the person who has God-given rights and everything flows from that mm -hmm. to the totalitarian mindset that prevailed in Stalin's Soviet Union and Nazi Germany and Mao's where the state is all and the collective mm -hmm. is all and the individual has to conform to the political correctness that's dictated to us from on high and there is no room for tolerance from deviation from from the mindset the totalitarian mindset that is dictated to us from on high mm -hmm. from the state from the university system and where are the pl places in America that are least tolerant of diversity uh, that insist upon the most intellectual conformity you know, we can see it every day in our universities mm -hmm. and in political parties uh, that encourage things like Antifa, who want to use violence yeah. to shut down. They don't want to have a conversation. Right. They want to force their views upon us. You know, I th see this as a, uh, you know, a great threat to our, uh, to our liberty, the threat from within mm -hmm. that may in some respects be just as great, if not greater, than the threat from outside. I wonder, you know, because uh, you know, we were talking about we were talking about God and God yeah. and history, you know, yeah. before we came in here. And it's not the, I mean, I was originally trained as a historian. Mm -hmm. and, and, you know, and when you go through that historical training, uh, uh, you know, one of the things you learn about is the historians of the past, mm -hmm. you know, up, in, up until and through the 19th century. Uh, uh, it was the common view uh, among historians, you know, that God... Uh, acted in, in history, through history, mm -hmm. in man, mm -hmm. and that you could see a, an evolution in man's history through God, that in effect, in a, in a, uh, arguably the proof of God was written on human history itself, right. and the evolution from, from slave societies of ancient Rome, mm -hmm. uh, you know, through the Dark Ages, up until the miracle is that, that is the United States of America. And, uh, and, and when you understand the details of our creation, it does indeed seem miraculous that we could, we could be created and come to this point. Right. which has all been replaced, a part of our heritage, a point of view, okay, that is now in our universities regarded as totally discredited and untrue and been replaced with the, uh, the materialist model 
which is in, a, in effect the Marxist-Leninist model. Mm. You know, that there is no God, God doesn't act through history, we're all biological machines, mm. products of, of socioeconomic systems, okay? Mm. It's not enough for God to be on the side of the United States. You know, uh, we have to be on the side of God. I mean, I yeah. think throughout history, right. you know, there's a price to be paid for not being a good people, what they would call in the Bible in the Old Testament, a righteous people, which right. meant basically being a good people. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, God has been good to the United States. Yeah. Uh, you know, uh, it's really we've had a series of miracles where we w w were able to come through World War II yeah. despite that tremendous threat to us. And when you unpackage World War II and see, you know, thank God the snows came early right. outside of Moscow, yeah. right? I right. mean, That's you know, right. yeah. uh, that the DA Day invasion came off as well as that it, mm -hmm. it did, the weather cleared. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, you know, uh, uh, you know I, one can see the hand of, of, of God in history here. Yeah. Th uh, thank God we came through the Cold War. You know, yeah. I've described it as a miracle. I actually, as a person who was there in the front lines, you know, it really was miraculous. Mm -hmm. I mean, the, the Soviets had built up such formidable nuclear and conventional forces now, I think they would have won if, they, if we had gone to war. But fortunately, uh, with the help of God, you know, we yeah. prevailed. And, and I think, and, I, and it gives me hope because at least up until the end of the Cold War, we were the kind of people that deserved to prevail, all right? One of the things that makes me most fearful about what we're becoming as a people, mm -hmm. the divisions we're talking about, these right. ab absurd things that are, uh, that are happening, uh, you, you know, is, uh, is uh, fewer and fewer of us seem to be a, good and godly people, That's you know, right. uh, you know, at some point, you know, uh, when is the almighty going to say, well, America, you know, you've had enough chances, uh, you've walked uh, on a path away from me, mm -hmm. you know, uh, it's time for the North Koreans to punish you. Wow. Uh, <laughs> uh, in the Old Testament, that happened to the Israelis, uh, to the nation of Israel, you know, yeah. more than once. That's, yes, you know, did. Uh, so, That's so uh, you know, I think we can see the hand of God in history.